Hey everybody, welcome back to Rap Reviews. We're here today at Lolita's Mexican Food in Eastlake. Kick it! So we're here at Lolita's trying out the California burrito. In a first glance, not looking too bad. I think it's a little bit small for my liking. Really liking the feel of the tortilla. It's got a nice soft feel to it. I'm excited to see what's inside. Adrian, go ahead and give us the specs of this thing. Yep, I got you. This burrito has carne asada, french fries, cheese, and sour cream. It is just over seven inches long, and it clocks in at 440 grams. And it comes out to a total of $8.43. All righty, let's take a swing at this. All right, right off the bat, the meat's got a real nice sear on it. If you like your carne asada chard, this, uh, this burrito's definitely got the flavor to it. As far as the meat goes, I would actually say that it's, you know, there's a good sear on it, it's pretty juicy, but I, I am not feeling a lot of flavor. Like, I think that it definitely needs more seasoning, needs more marinade, something different. I just, it's not really doing it for me. It's not real, man. It feels real seasoned to me. Mm -hmm. Like, almost like it's at the brink of the season. I think I agree with Adrian on this one. It's got a nice, like, little peppery feel to it, a little sweetness. I'm not sure what they're using on it, but... A lot of pepper. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I guess for me, like, like it tastes fine. It kind of just tastes more like regular steak to me. I'm not really getting that, that carne asada, like that signature carne asada taste to me. But, um, yeah. For the distribution, I'm still kind of feeling it out a bit. Right now, I feel like it's blended relatively well, but I do have a lot of fries on the right side of my burrito. If you want to take a look at that. It's a bit more on the right, but nothing nothing too bad to complain about. Distribution is, you know, it could be better, but it's not something that's bothering me too much. And I think like Richard said, like, you know, the, the fries are kind of kicking it over to one side a bit, but. So if you look here, you can actually see the cheese being transparent through the tortilla, kind of traveling all the way through here. So when I'm eating, I have to take a bite to the left, get that moisture, and then take a bite to the right. It's not a big thing. But I mean, for convenience sake, it would definitely help if it was just spread more even. One thing I will say is this burrito does not come with a lot of sauce. Definitely very heavy on the meat and potatoes. Yeah, I think having guacamole, maybe pico, would help the dryness. I definitely don't think it's a, it's a problem with the, the actual ingredients, like the, the fries or the meat themselves. But yeah, having a little bit more sauce, I think it helped. I'm a pretty firm believer that a burrito can still be good without guac or, you know, even without sour cream. It's just a matter of how you compensate for that. I just don't know if this burrito is really compensating enough. I think guac would help. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I actually think the french fries in this thing are the biggest thing holding this burrito back. Um, I actually totally agree. Yeah, I just got a pretty big bite of um, just french fries and not really much there, to be honest. I, I'm not liking them. I think they are very stale. Very dry. I'm not really tasting them a lot. I feel like the pepper, the carne asada, is really overshadowing the potatoes for the better of the burrito. Because I feel like if I could taste them more, I could really taste the staleness of them. The pepper from the meat is definitely the main overpowering flavor. So I'm really actually liking the cheese in this thing. Not just the cheese itself, but how much cheese there is. Uh, I actually think a lot of burritos don't have enough cheese in it. I don't know why that is, but I think they definitely add a pretty good amount of cheese in this thing. All right, guys, you ready for some scores? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a 8.4. Um, the reason why I'm giving a, a pretty good score is because I think the tortilla is right on with it. The cheese is good, I agree with Chris on that. The carne asada has a great sear like Adrian was saying. I think it's fantastic. The reason I didn't give it a, a better score is because of the fries. Uh, I'm feeling a 6.5 on this thing. Um, the carne asada is okay. Um, I think it could use a little bit more flavor. But going to the other ingredients, uh, especially the french fries, I think they are pretty lackluster. Tortilla is, you know, not something to rave about. Sour cream, I think, you know, some spots it could have used a little bit more, but other than that, it was pretty standard. Yeah, the, the french fries are just really holding this thing back a lot. I know they have the other location by the ballpark, and you know, they have the original one in Chula Vista, but, you know, if you're not really close to a location, I wouldn't really bother going out of your way. Okay, I'm gonna give this burrito a 7.6. I think they did a really good job with the meat here. Um, last week at Cerritos, I talked about wanting to taste the grill on the carne asada. I think that's what you get here. Um, it's pretty well seasoned. I think in the parts of the burrito where sour cream is lacking, 
is definitely a lot to get through. It's very dry. I think you could definitely use some guac or even pico or even just more sour cream, honestly. I think this burrito has the potential to be really, really great, but I just think they need to get rid of the, that dryness as well. All right, so that's gonna be a wrap score of 7.5. Make sure to click on the link down below so you can follow us on all our socials and keep up with rap reviews. Leave a comment and let us know what we should try next. That's a wrap. Oh, didn't see you there. Uh, you made sure to like the video, right? And then you also subscribe? Okay, cool, just checking.